Good afternoon. Welcome to Quarantined Art Club where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Welcome to the bonus round. We are going to do an art called egg blowing. And I don't know if you saw on the Instagram earlier, but this is the one I made. I did decoupage on it. Fancy word for saying I glued things on there. So what you will need is obviously an egg. You will need a stiff wire did not have stiff wire, but I did have sparklers. So I'm using a sparkler. A nail would be good and a thumbtack. Thumbtacks are great to get the hole started and then the nail helps it get bigger. You will also need tape. I recommend masking tape or washi tape. So you get you a good piece off. And you're going to put tape on the top where your one of your holes is going to go. You're going to put one on the bottom where the other hole is going to go. So, start with your thumbtack. And we're going to start at the top. You're going to kind of give it a twist. Oh, and I should mention that you need to make sure that your egg does not have any kind of cracks, even if it looks like a small crack because I was overconfident on my first video and I saw an egg and it had a little crack in it. And I was like, oh, that's no problem. It was a problem. So make sure you don't have any kind of hairline cracks in your egg. All right, so you're gonna take your thumbtack, you're gonna give it a wiggle up at the top and just kind of twist it until it goes in. And then you're gonna kind of roll it around at the top, make sure that hole is in there real good. Now we're gonna flip it over, do the same thing to the bottom. Again, give it a good wiggle. Now you'll need a nail, you don't have to, but it'll make the hole just a little bit bigger, make it a little easier to blow the yolk out. And what you can do is you can collect the yolks and make scrambled eggs later. And the way I like to make scrambled eggs is with American cheese, a little bit of bacon grease. Obviously you cook the bacon first and then you cook your eggs in the bacon grease and then you add the American cheese. Now, if you're a vegan, you can leave the bacon grease out. All right, so once you've got your holes, you wanna go ahead and take your tape off. little bit bigger. You you really want the one at the bottom to be a pretty good size, not too big because then it can crack the egg too. All right, so got our holes. Now you're going to take your wire, give it a good wiggle around. So what you're doing is you're breaking up the yolk. It'll make it easier to blow all the contents out. You're going to do it from the top too. Okay. Now what you'll want to do is take a paper towel and go over the top of your egg so that when you go to blow, you don't get egg in your face. All right. You will also need a bowl to catch your egg yolks in. And it's going to take maybe a couple of tries to get it really going. So just be prepared for that. While you're doing it, you can keep kind of mixing your egg around in there. So the more you break it up, the easier it is. I can hear my yolk in there still. So let's see if we can break that up. There we go. Okay. 
Mm, yeah, that's good. Now make sure you wash your hands and everything after you do this so you don't get salmonella everywhere. Now what you're going to do after you've got all this done is you're going to go rinse your egg out and you're going to let it dry for a little bit so you have to be patient. And I've got an egg ready to go. So what I'm going to do, and I believe I taught this yesterday, I'm going to show you how to do a little bunny. I want a green bunny because green is my favorite color. And a little bit of white. Now I'm just using acrylic paint. So the way we're going to do the bunny is we're going to make an oval and it might take a couple of coats so you might have to paint over it twice and we're gonna do this for the body and then for the ears Just like that. And of course you can decorate your egg however you want. Then I need a little bit of white. There we go. We've got us a little bunny egg. So, I hope you guys enjoy this craft. Good luck. Be patient with it. And as always, please make sure you share your artwork with me. I love to see your artwork. And I hope you guys have a very happy Easter and you're able to spend it with people you love. And I will see you guys next week for Mara Made Up Stuff.